Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Paint app in Windows 11 23H2. Well, I did a video yesterday in which I talked about some of the new apps in Windows 11 23H2. In that video, I mentioned that I would like the Paint app to get layer support and transparency support in the future. Well, Microsoft has done exactly that and they announced it right after I posted that video. In this video, we're going to go into a full presentation of the new features inside the new Paint app in Windows 11 23H2. This is currently rolling out to the dev and canary channels, but of course it will be present in Windows 11 23H2 when it will be released. So if you enjoy videos like these in which you talk about different Windows 11 apps, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, if you are enrolled in the dev or the canary channels from the Windows Insider program, you can open up the Microsoft Store, go to library in the left side and then make sure to click on get updates to get all the latest updates and the new paint app version could be installed for you. Let's now open the new paint app and if I go to the settings section, you're going to notice that the paint app is version 11.2308.18.0. This is the latest version, which includes some of the new features such as the layer support and also transparency support. As you can see, we have here a new button, which is called layers. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to quickly do some edits. I'm going to apply a PNG image and also a text so you can see how this works. But first of all, we're going to resize this. As you can see, I resized that image and the checkered background is transparent and that is very nice, but we're going to paint everything here to have a background like this. Now let's click on layers and a new sidebar will appear in the right side. And as you can see, we have this layer. We have a button here to show or hide the layer. As you can see at the moment, when you hover over this and you click on that button, it currently disappears. This is a small bug, but I'm sure that Microsoft will fix this. Of course, if you go outside of the layer box and you go again inside it, the hide layer button will appear again. And if you right click on the layer, you have the following options, hide layer, duplicate layer, merge down, delete layer. And also, if you click on the plus button, you can add a new layer. So let's add a new layer. And in this layer, we're going to open up an image. So I load up a PNG image. As you can see, paint is pretty limited right now because, of course, this is a first version of layers and transparency support. When you add a new image, basically, you won't be able to add that PNG image over the top of another background created before. But I'm sure that Microsoft will expand the support for this in the future. But now let's add a new layer. Let's resize this a bit. And now let's use the bucket tool again. As you can see, we've done the same background that we had before, but now we can switch these two layers and we have now the Notepad PNG logo on top of the background that we've created. And as you can see, we can duplicate the layer if we want and we have two layers of the same logo or we can merge down to merge our two layers. Right now, we don't have an option to unmerge layers, but of course, maybe this will come in the near future. Let's also add a new layer. If you add a new layer, you're also going to notice that the new layer is added within the resolution or the size of the previous layer. So now let's add a text and we've added a text here as you can see the text is added inside a different layer yet again if you want to play around with layers you can do that with no issues one thing we can also test in the new paint app is the ability to remove the background of an image and then save it as png so i had opened up here an image i'm going to click on fit to window and then i'm going to click on the remove background button click on it ai will do its job and remove the background as you can see we now have a transparent background let's click on file save as png to have the transparent background i'm going to save it on the desktop test, save. And as you can see, we have a transparent image, a PNG image that we can use. I think AI is doing a pretty, pretty good job in my opinion. So I'll remind you again, this is a first preview of the new layer function, also the transparency support. So don't go too hard on the paint app. I'm sure that Microsoft will improve it even further and we will be able to do more advanced edits inside the paint app with images. And I think that is great. Of course, on my checklist would be the option to quickly be able to move things around, switch between layers or add PNG images on top of created layers but of course i'm sure that microsoft has those things in mind and the progress is here the paint app is getting more functions and i'm sure that microsoft will also introduce more ai features inside the paint app so this is basically the new paint app that we'll be able to encounter in windows 11 23 h2 if you want to test out this new paint app we're going to have information about that in the article below in the video's description if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was Emmanuel from tech base until next time. Have a nice day.